James, you spoke a great length about a couple of uh, new books that are coming up. Uh, could you tell our audience a little bit about both of these new texts and where they might be able to find them? Certainly. Uh, I'm a co-author on both books that I was talking about, so it's a bit of a shameless plug, but uh, two interesting uh, books, or at least I think they are. One, one that just came out uh, very early this year, 2013, is uh, called Intel Xeon Phi Coprocessor High Performance Programming. Uh, the title pretty much indicates what it's about. It's about how to write high-performance parallel programs to run on the Intel Xeon Phi. Uh, the book actually ends up being more about just parallel programming. Um, the thing that really distinguishes the, the Intel Xeon Phi coprocessor is the enormous amount of parallelism it has, uh, up to 244 threads of hardware parallelism uh, in a general purpose processor. And that's, that's pretty amazing. So the book spends a lot of time talking just about um, what techniques you need to develop and such to uh, take advantage of that. Uh, we do it in Fortran and in C, C++, uh, and take it through uh, uh, showing how to get scaling for the number of cores and vectorization. That's a pretty hands-on book with lots of examples and lots of detailed information about uh, the, uh, the Xeon Phi uh, coprocessor. Uh, the other book uh, is a bit more of a, a teaching text, uh, general purpose, uh, without any specific hardware in mind, and it's called Structured Parallel Programming. Um, the co-authors on that book uh, were uh, Michael McCool, who helped, uh, or who was the founder of Rapid Mind, and uh, Arch Robson, who is the architect of TBB, uh, Threading Building Blocks. Uh, the three of us put a book together that uh, really um, tries to teach parallel programming in a new way by really looking at the techniques that worked, uh, the maps, the reduce, the stencils, the pipelines, and teach in those terms instead of falling back on describing the hardware and teaching it as if you were just programming hardware. We teach more abstractly what you need to do to write an effective parallel program. Uh, that book uh, focuses on C and C++ development using uh, TBB and Silk uh, in most of the examples. We have a few examples in OpenMP and OpenCL on array building blocks, but mostly we focus on uh, TBB and Silk uh, Plus as the programming methods. So there's no Fortran in that book. The, the Intel Xeon Phi uh, coprocessor book has plenty of Fortran in it.